Today is one of those days that, like, I want to run away from what I fucking do. <laughs> Honestly. I don't want to say too much because apparently me expressing my upset about certain things is... going on your YouTube? Yes. Then you can say whatever you want. She ain't following your YouTube. I have had, like, a lot of problems with bookings since I started to get really, really popular. Before, with my business for the first five to seven years I've been doing it, the uh, booking methods were very different. I was booking people daily and weekly rather than monthly, you know? This is all very new to me being booked out to the capacity that I am currently booked out. I have been finding a lot of conflict that is taking place and of course my dog is playing with her chew toy now. Between t eight and 10 readings scheduled in a day, and then um, my 10 a.m. won't show up at 10 a.m. <clears throat> They'll show up at 7 p.m. Oh, sorry, at like 1 p.m. And then go, oh, oops, I fucked up on the time zones. Or, oh my goodness, I didn't know I was supposed to meet you in a Zoom meeting. I forgot about this appointment. I didn't get an email reminder. Now uh, here I am, only completing like five or six appointments of my entire day. And then I'm having to rebook all of these people who didn't show up in the first place. So I started implementing rules like if you don't show up, you don't get your appointment because it's, it's not fair to me. Go outside and above my window. I already used that time up for preparing my TikToks and now doing my podcast and fuck hanging out with my family because I'm allowed to do that. So I've been trying to find ways to start making people accountable for showing up for their appointments. Had a few people do some things during their sessions this year and last year that I don't want to have happen again. So I put it out there in an email so everyone understands this is what I expect from you, this is what you expect from me. So I have started to send emails to people letting them know, hey, I need you to confirm if you're going to be here or not tomorrow. And also thus confirming if they've read my requirements of the email so that when I go to do their reading, I'm not in an uncomfortable situation driving or has their whole family there or at work or in a hospital or something, you know, that's it. That's all I require. And I say to these people, please email me back. I send the email goes out 24 hours before the appointment. So let's say your appointment is at 4 p.m. On a Monday, you're going to get it 4 p.m. on a Sunday. You have exactly from 4 p.m. until about 8 a.m. I even let it slide to about 10 a.m., okay? If you contact me, I say 8 in the email, but I let it slide to 10. So if you contact me anywhere between that, between that time, you've confirmed your appointment, I'll even let a little bit slide. Going through all of the people that I have on my wait list who missed their appointments for all of the other reasons, I put them on the calendar. What I've noticed has been happening is people are coming to the Zoom meetings without confirming. Well, I already booked somebody else who has been sitting on my waiting list for a while in your spot because you never responded back. They're getting really pissed at me. And a lot of people are accepting what I'm saying, but like there are some people that are just not taking it. I had one woman at the end of my day on Friday get downright nasty with me and wanted that reading right in that moment or she was wanting a refund and she went to PayPal and I had something different happen. I had a woman who I had already read in the past and did pretty well because she emailed me even afterwards being so happy about the reading I gave her. She sent, I guess, her adult child to me for her appointment. And when she did not respond to me by 8 a.m. or even 10 a.m. or fuck even 1 p.m., I didn't get the message until two hours before her appointment started. I had already got somebody else in that spot to do a reading with because she didn't confirm. I went on live because I was pissed. I was mad because I've had enough of this nonsense. I've had enough of me 
putting myself out there. I just don't know what else I can do. Like, I think these people literally want me to chase them down until they answer the phone. Like, no. Wrote me this long email. Basically, first kind of taking back, like she said that she she liked your reading with me. But, which is why she sent and paid for her daughter, daughter's appointment. And then went on and on and on and on about how I had said some stuff in live and how I had blocked her daughter and I had blocked people that were attacking me for sure. And I'm never going to stop doing that. I, I, I'm not going to continue to let people treat me not nicely. I was having a conversation with them on my website and they refused to communicate with me, but then they would no problem coming on the live and saying something. So she... Continued to write about how long my email was. It was like a Bible. It was too long, blah, blah, blah. Even though the first line states that you need to confirm your appointment, like regardless of responding, reading my entire email, at least read the first sentence and the subject line, I would have been satisfied. I felt like garbage, like just, I, I hate disappointing people and I hate people attacking me, especially when they were making me sound like I was being a monster when in fact that was not the case. Definitely a passionate person and you know it, it isn't that hard to respond to an email and a lot of other people also have those rules implemented for a reason. So guys this is me uh podcast setup. I just wanted to give you guys like a little so there's like we we're literally in our living room and our all that oh the fucking the PlayStation. Mm. Um anyways, this is me as our front door. <laughs> and uh yeah, so this is my side. This is where I do all my recording. 